Lord help us and grant us the gift. Jesus name I pray. Amen. You may be seated. Alright, I must, uh, I am titled this message. I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also. That is the title of the message. I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also. This word is sent by our Lord. Our Lord, our Lord knew the necessary of the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ was sent to establish the kingdom of God upon the earth. Amen. Jesus Christ was not sent to build any building or organization or denominations or uh, uh, groups and all those things. No. Jesus Christ was sent to establish the kingdom of God on the earth. What a beautiful thing, my dear brothers. Amen. What a greatness of the, uh, what a greatness of God's grace is upon us. We cannot forget that grace. He wanted to, uh, he wanted to build the kingdom of God, establish the kingdom of God on the earth. Without the kingdom of God, we are nothing. Amen. Oh yes, we are nothing. We are nothing. Why is people today claim that they are so and so? They are the people, they are the great men of God, they are the great apostles and everything. But I tell you, that is nothing to do with the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is nothing but the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God is nothing but the token and castle, whatever you call it, according to the scripture and the message of William Amen. I would like to read the one little quotation here, Brother from taken from Brother Branham's message, why I am praying for the sick. Why I am praying for the sick in 1954. He says that, I have got one purpose, that is to see the kingdom of God come on earth in power. See, Jesus Christ return. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Brother Branham said, you see, most of the people follow the message of William Branham and know nothing about the truth, about the kingdom of God. They only speak about what Brother Branham done in his ministry. They speak about his healing campaign and everything. But I would like to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, if you want to go to the Bible and if you want to see the Bible, that main thing, main, main essence in the Bible is nothing but the kingdom of God, the power of God establishing upon the earth. Now here William Branham says, I have got one purpose, he says. See William Branham got a one purpose, that is to see the kingdom of God come on earth in power. And that's right, see Jesus Christ return. Amen. I tell you, Brother Branham came for that. And one more quotation I just want to tell you in the statue of the perfect man. He said, My commission on the earth to make every individual to become the powerhouse for God. Oh yes, that was the William Branham's great statement. And he said about it. He said about that. So, my precious brethren, I want to tell you today. We are wasting the time in many of the things. We are wasting the time and without understanding the whole, whole problem, the problem of God. And we, try to, we, we, we need to understand the program of God. Why the battle was sent unto us? Oh yes, and we have been straight, straightly we have to go to the Bible and we have to see what was the purpose of William Branham's ministry? Why God is sent to William Branham? And all those things we are to. And main thing is, I'm, I'm not going away from the Bible. Bible is the final. Bible in any ministry to today, when we see any ministry on here that is not matching or uh, uh, coinciding. To the 
the scriptures in the Bible is not the ministry of God. Then God should never send them the name, send those ministries, you know. Therefore, we must, uh, we, we know that 100% Brother Brahman was sent by God. Amen. Whatever, whoever, say whatever they want to say. Amen. I don't care. I am only to speak about the truth. I, I, no one can disprove the ministry of Brother Brahman. Amen. Because when Brother Brahman gave our eyes open, and we are today standing for the truth. All right. Now, let me tell you something here. The Lord is saying that I must preach the kingdom of God to the other cities also. That means Lord had a great responsibility and great burden that the kingdom of God should be preached to other cities in the whole world. Sons and daughters should be endured by the power and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, sir. Please. And I tell you, for that purpose, now I am coming, I am coming slowly, I don't want to go very fast. And I, I, I want to speak here. Now, William Bradham and the John the Baptist, both are the same. And according to the Bible, now John the Baptist came, and when the John the Baptist came, he preached about the kingdom of God. He brought us to that ministry. Ah, William the, 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 the John or John the Baptist ministry was not that ministry to speak and to preach the kingdom of God. He, he brought us unto that ministry, to that ministry. Because we know that very well, John the Baptist and William Graham brought the people unto the water, water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, in order to wash. Oh yes, uh, we have to be washed, we have to be sanctified. That shows we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. Baptism in the name of Jesus Christ is nothing but we are we have accepted the Jesus Christ publicly, we are saying that was that is a ministry of John the Baptist and Eleven. For that I would like to tell you, the followers of John the Baptist never heard about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Followers of John the Baptist never heard the baptism of the Holy Ghost. For that uh, you can see when they are in the uh, uh, book of Acts, that you can see when, when Saint Paul was passing by those people, he Asked them a question, do you believe? Sorry, he asked them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Amen. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Believe whom? Believe the John the Baptist. And his message has received the Holy Ghost. They said, we never heard about that. We never heard about the kingdom of God. We never heard that means it was not the, that that shows and that proves that John the Baptist ministry was not that ministry of the kingdom of God. Huh? Jesus said after later we know that the Lord Jesus said that the kingdom of God is already here, he said. It is within you, he says. Oh yes, that was, that was the Lord's word. And I, I tell you from the Bible, I want to tell you, I don't want to go this potential, that potential, I am I'm, I'm, uh, I briefly, I, I, I like to explain to you briefly. John the Baptist's disciples, same like William Branham's disciples today. William Branham also had a disciple. You know, William Branham and John the Baptist, there is no difference at all. Both of them did the same ministry. John the Baptist ministry and William Branham ministry the same ministry. And the followers are both huge followers they have. They have huge followers, more than the followers of Jesus Christ are in that day, even today also. Before the uh, outpouring of the Holy Spirit, before the day of the Pentecost, uh, multitudes followed John the Baptist and they believed him as a prophet. They, 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 they believed, believed John the Baptist as a prophet. He came to that condition, to that place, to 
say, brother, Dr. Um, Kartik is a prophet. Even today, also, his people came to that only so much junction to say, brother, brother, he is a prophet. And until today, we are here, we are being enough heard about that prophet, 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 pay, 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 book, 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 spoken word, he saw the things there. Every day, routinely, we are here. But that is not the whole program of God. That is not the whole plan of God. Plan of God is the whole plan of God is a different. God sent William Branham, truly we believe, truly we love. But because of William Branham, we recognize the ministry of the kingdom of God. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Only because because Branham brought us to that, we may tell you. The Dhanam also said the same thing. And uh, John the Baptist also wrote the same thing after he came to the place. Water, baptism, in the name of Jesus, water baptism. Then he said, now I can only give you the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. I can only baptize you, baptize you by the water. But, the, that, but there is one more ministry. See, listen carefully. One more ministry ahead of me and after me which is already standing on the earth which is already existing on the earth that can baptize you by the Holy Ghost and fire it's not amen 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 thank you lord thank you lord if that is not so if, if you don't believe that the people in, in the presently the people who who are under the message of Hillel Branham, if you don't believe that truth, what John the Baptist uttered, I, 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 I can only baptize you by the water. But there is a ministry. There is one who stands before me. Huh? It is not the fleshly part he is speaking. He speaks about the spirit part. He speaks about the Christ. He speaks about another ministry. And he will baptize you by the Baptism of the Holy Ghost and by the fire. Amen. Aha. John the Baptist said that. From directly from the Bible. If you are a Bible believer, if you are a, if you are reading the Bible, you, you ought to accept it. Then that is, there must be a prophet to take you unto the world. Full world. The world. One who stands before the Brother John was the full world. He is the light of the world. He is the revelation, full revelation. He is the one who can baptize you by the word, by the spirit, and by the fire. He got authority to baptize you. He, he, he know, he knew what is the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God has established in him. He, 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 he had the kingdom of God. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. God the Baptist could not say. God the Baptist did not say, go to Jerusalem and wait until you endure with the power. He cannot say. He did not have that ministry. He only had the ministry to bring the people unto the water. Amen. Water baptism. That is why the followers of the Lamb, they have in their tongue, in their mouth, in their lips, only one thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. They don't touch that where the Lord said, huh? Huh? Where the Lord said, uh, promise of the Father. Uh, carry you to Jerusalem. They cannot say that. They never utter that word. Why? They never heard that message. They never heard that message. That message preached under the seventh seal. Opening of the seventh seal brought out that fact again. Put the gate. And here we know that even our William Branham also did the same thing. And God that is for the demon and he told, I am not a worthy man to uh, uh, lose his shoes and uh, hide the shoe legs. God the Baptist said, I am not worthy, I am unworthy man. I am unworthy. But 
you and go to hell. I have nothing to do with that. I preach the faith forward gospel. I preach it up. Clear it up to you. So that you should understand. So that hereafter, here onwards, you should know. Understand the kingdom of God. Oh yes, sir. Praise be the name of the Lord. Glory be the name of the Lord. Oh yes, sir. So my dear brothers and sisters, the uh, kingdom of God must be preached in every city. Not only the heart you know, only William Branham. Knowing William Branham will never benefit you. You must know William Branham. That is all right. He gave you from the Bible. It was all right. It is needed. Like other prophets in the Bible, you must know that. You know, do you know that whoever followed Moses and whoever followed Moses and know only Moses? Did they reach the promised land? No. They died at the Kadesh and Pamiya. Similarly, today, only people, only, the people only know William Branham. They died at the place like Kadesh Pamiya. They never can be going to receive the token. They never will going to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. If, if you don't receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you forget about the rapture. You cannot go in the rapture. You will go to miss the rapture. You land in the tribulation and die and come in the second resurrection. Oh yes, sir. that is what is going to happen all these people. You know, whoever is only with you, but the they are tribulation bound and they, they, are, they are tribulation bound and they are the candidates for the second resurrection. They, they will rise after 1000 years. They will never have the place in the first resurrection. And only the bride will have the, uh, you know, opportunity to come in the first resurrection and find only can see the first resurrection and go in the rapture. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. You don't teach me this Bible. Uh, you don't teach me Holy Ghost to teach us. You help me. You help me die with your sin. Die with your unbelief. You help me sir. Bring me all kinds of different interpretation. You never going to make the rapture. Write it down on the paper. Amen. You fail to see the rapture. And it is not the sake of our world. I like to say that because if that is the message, it, 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 it ought to be the sake of our world. It is not my uh, direct to the sake of our world. I am speaking and, uh, and uh, I am speaking under the voice of that thing. And you say amen. amen. So, my, my, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the fact I am speaking tonight. Oh yes, you cannot go to make the rapture. The only you only know William Branham, you don't know the Son of Man. You, know, you don't know the God living in the human flesh. Uh, oh yes sir. That is, that, that is the mistake today, that is the division between the... Uh, you know there was a division, there was a two groups in the time of John the Baptist. How many know that? There was a two groups was there. One is John the Baptist group, one is Jesus Christ group. One follow and, and whoever under the Jesus Christ, they were under the John the Baptist. And they heard that message. They heard John the Baptist preaching. They got the revelation. They heard that another ministry is going to come. They heard very well that is another ministry. And they got the revelation. And they're following that ministry. What is wrong them? They're following the right thing. They are the true followers of John the Baptist. You know who are the true followers of the Lord? How many want to know that tonight? Who are the people who truly believe the William Branham is it? Uh, those who identify the ministry of the coming of the Lord under the seventh seal and they call the seven thunder by the Lord. They are the true believers of William Branham. Amen. Uh -huh. And others are, others are make believers and unbelievers. Oh yes. Uh, that is what Brother Paul said. Oh yes, that is what Brother Paul said. Uh, you may have the faith to move the mountain. Everything you may do that. But if you miss the love, you are nothing. Love. Oh yes, oh yes, that is what my dear friend. That is what we see on the picture that's true. Where is love? God. Oh yes, that is what today people are missing. Oh yes, they only know to say, go to speak about William Branham and his ministry and they say prophet, 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 thousand times they chanting, chanting that word and they chant the faith, faith, something to say, faith, 
boy, dead boy, dead boy, huh? What the fuck are those? What the fuck are this dead boy group you see that? Oh, they're in the Sydney, Sydney, Sydney Lady group, huh? They're nasty, filthy like they are living. But we thank God, those who really follow, true believers are talking, true believers of the William Branham, true followers I am telling you today, I am the true followers of William Branham because William, William Branham said that soon after my ministry, soon after my message, sorry, not my ministry, soon after my message, is not that me, on the wings of a storm, wiped out in that message, but the Branham made a great statement, soon after my message, another message will come, that will be the white eagle's message. Amen. Oh, yes. And in that message, you can see the kingdom of God because thou is going to lead that ministry. Means thou is nothing but the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Thou is nothing but the kingdom of God. You cannot see the thou. You cannot see that prince in, the, in this ministry. In the middle of that ministry. Middle of that ministry, you can only see middle of fire uh, and middle of God and all those things you can see. But the next ministry, you can see the thou because thou. Thank God. 
said that he did. Say, Lord Jesus, say, when the same manner, when he escorted in the first coming of the Lord, uh, that cloud escorted him to the heaven, the same cloud brought him back again. Don't you believe that? 1963, the same cloud, the same cloud brought him back again. My God, and we have done many things to face. My God. That is why William Bell had a boldness and he spoke like a lion. Boy, boy. Uh, not like you people, 65 people. Know nothing about the message. I tell you, all of you are in the uh, You know nothing about the message. But we thank God. God has given us his great privilege to understand the message. Amen. Oh, yes, sir. And uh, next ministry has come. Brother Robert E. Lambert had the great grace to for the vessel of that ministry. Oh, yes. The ministry of the Lord. Coming of the Lord. By the prayer of faith. But the Paul spoke about that in the first Thessalonians 4 16. The Lord Himself shall be sent from the heaven in a shout and in the voice of the archangel. If I say archangel, it's none other than Christ. He's archangel. Can you say that? Michael is none other than Christ. Archangel. Can you say that? Yes, sir. Oh yes. So here you see. What the Lord is saying here. What they will do? They will prevent these messages going to city to city. Lord said it must be the kingdom of God must be preached to the cities of my friend. How do you know the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Unless you hear that. Uh, that is what Brother Paul asked the question. Have you received the baptism of the Holy Ghost since you believe? They said, we never heard. That means they never just thought of that place. Uh, like today those people are following. They, they, love him. they love the prophet more than the token. They love the prophet more than the kingdom of God. They love the prophet more than Lord Jesus Christ. And they made him until the, uh, they made him a Christ. All right. Now, listen carefully, this is the quotation. And I imagine it will be a great thing for you one day to sit in a congregation of a big crowd of false, false, and hear the same revelation going on that you have heard and realize how far it will be up the road. And people will be coming to you just to hear you talk about the revelation. I believe it will be that way. How many believe it will be that way? Sweep the world! Sweep the world! Unquote. But the number three to say, the revelation what you people are here, here today in Durham, our full master Christian assembly, one day they'll give that revelation. Sweep the world! Either faith or whatever it is, God will raise up the servants of God in different parts of the earth to preach out this message because according to the uh, word you heard just now, Luke chapter, uh, Luke chapter uh, 4 and 43, it has to be fulfilled before the token comes. Oh yes, I must go to the city to city to preach this token. Can you say amen? amen. That is what we are to the Lord saying here. It must go to the whole world. Now who can deny that? You see, the punishment that man today got, Mr. Dalton was the punishment God put him on the bread and he cannot preach today. His mouth cannot be, cannot be used. Oh yes, no, he's bedridden. Even his alien thoughts. And this quotation I taken from Woman at the Well, 1970. New position because new position is enough. Great position. Now, now, another position I want to, to, to give a support to the scripture. And you notice here that here Jesus left his busy schedule. Jesus left his busy schedule here 
he was journeying all the way up there to Samaria to the city of Sikar. Jesus Christ. Yes, I believe it was. See, uh, Samaria is out of, outside of this way. All this way up there to see one little woman. Today one little woman, unquote today, this one little woman represents the pride of Christ in different parts of the world. Different parts of the world in Africa, in India, in Russia, in China, everywhere. This message needs to go. People must hear. And the group of people stopped this message one time. 40 years or 50 years they stopped the message. God returned them. God smiled them on them. God interviewed them. You see, Kenny got a cancer, got cancer. He tried to, he tried to stop this message. He lied. This message is not available. He lied. He stopped it. God has got cancer. You see, uh, you see, Bino was written by God as the minister cancer. God is a man. He's noble. He's tied by the Pharisees. Uh, All these people. And, uh, and Dr. Kuss, son Maika, who marinated, businessman, you see his uh, condition. All these are the people, my dear friends. God did not give them one single person. Ultimately, God swore that God goes on his back. He cannot rise up again. 